Today is Performance Review Day. The best review is going to win an award. It's pretty awesome. To find out what it is, I'm going to ask you a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Trophy! Right? Got it at a garage sale. Old lady sold it to me. She was nice. Oh, 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 performance review. Hello? Jenny, listen, HR wants me to give you a performance review. I really didn't have time to prepare it. Uh, we need to do it ASAP. Meet me in the boardroom in a couple of minutes, okay? Oh, okay. And, and by the way, I wish you reminded me about this because, well, anyway, I I'll see you there. Don't be late. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I forgot about Jen's review. You know what? I'm so busy. I really don't have that much time. And she's so quiet. Um, she, I hardly even know she's there half the time. So I'm just going to wing it with the last couple of weeks. I really wish I could have had a heads up that this was happening today. It's my first performance evaluation and I've been with the company for over a year. It means a lot to me. So, in fact, the lack of ongoing communication makes me feel like she doesn't even care. Wow. You look really tired. You need to work on your uh, time management skills. Anyway, I remember the first time you were late. Hasn't really changed much since then. So did you uh, complete your self-assessment? Mm -hmm. I emailed it to you a couple weeks ago. Well, obviously you didn't because I don't have it in front of me. And you keep making excuses, so I guess I'm just going to have to write it now. <sighs> I got some inside info from the office. Val said she makes a ton of excuses for everything. She bows so on it. I really wish she was my assistant. We're so similar. She's always comparing me to Val. Like, that's even fair. They're practically the same person. Bossy? Patronizing? Who's going to see this? Stop making excuses, Jenny. Because on it's honestly... Jen. Um, Jen. Two ends. I'm going to have to do it right now. So. Jen. Oh. Hello? Val! How you doing, girl? Oh yeah, no, I'm not busy. You want to meet for lunch? Sure, let's meet at one. Great, Val. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do my open table app. I I'll do that on my way down there. Okay, Val. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. So that was rude. We don't meet all that often, and when we do, very rarely do we get through a conversation without her picking up her phone. I'd like to take that phone and drop it in a fishbowl. Let's look at this eva evaluation form that I have to fill out. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Performance, five. Unacceptable, five. Deadlines, four. So Jenny, I've been meaning to Jen. ask you. Okay, why, why are you ends. late? Why are you late Jen. so often? And why are you not more diligent in, your, in completing your work I'm on time? I'm here every day by 8.30. I work 8.30 to 5.30. This is the first time that you're sitting down with me. I had no idea that you felt this way. I feel like you rarely acknowledge that I do anything right. I did this assessment three weeks ago, and I marked it on both of our calendars. Well, then why don't I have I'm it? trying my best. If this is what she does when she tries, I would hate to see what she does when she doesn't try. Okay, I'm gonna do the talking now, all right? You're too quiet, you're boring, your desk is always messy, your food stinks, that fish smell stinks the whole office every other day. Okay, too many questions, and you never turn your receipts. I have to pick up your slack half the time. So you need to work on those things or your job is going to be at risk. Okay, let's see how you do a year from now. I mean, I was told to give you a Bible verse, but to be honest with you, here, you need the whole Bible, okay? And um, why don't you like wake up a little earlier in the morning and do your devotions because that'll probably help you manage and have a better day. <sighs> All right, goodbye. Listen, uh, for my 4 o'clock meeting, get me a skinny latte. Bye, Deb. So glad we had this conversation. Did that really just happen? Yeah, that really just happened. She is, she is a total nightmare. Hmm. Since she loves writing about everything that I do wrong. You're too quiet. 
You're a mess. Your food stinks. I mean, I'm so used to hearing all the negative stuff. I don't even know what I'm good at anymore. You're good at whining. Thanks. Thanks a lot. How am I feeling? Oh gosh, well, uh, it's kind of funny asking me that. Some people um, ask me, you know, hey Mike, what's your favorite holiday of the year? Well, it's actually performance review day. Yeah, um, it's not actually holiday, but it's my favorite. Um, you know, I just feel like I, I'm a really good manager, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to meeting with my employee. I've gone over everything that HR gave me. I've practiced all my re, uh, positive phraseology. You look fabulous, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'm, re I'm ready to go. What do I hope comes out of it? Gosh. Well, you know, like any good employer, um, I think the number one goal should be to be best friends with your employees. So the thing that I'm really looking forward to the most is actually being better friends. Um, you know, I'm their shepherd, they're my sheep, you know, and I just, I just really care about them a lot. And I just, hold on, just the thought of one of my sheep being lost is just really painful, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust the Lord that he's not going to let that happen. Oh, oh, he's coming. He must be really excited. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to see me? Yes, did I want to see you? Come here. Come here, big guy. Performance review time. All right, hey, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. That's right. Man, I've been looking forward to this. Um, listen, I just want you to know I'm very grateful for you coming. Uh, this is going to be great. Okay, number one priority that you feel safe. This is a safe zone. All right, and uh, I'm your shepherd. You're my lamb. I'm here to take care of you. I mean, unless unless you want to be the lamb or the shepherd, I can be the lamb. It's it's totally fine. Whichever one you want. I have a dentist appointment in 20 minutes. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm, let's not let's not hold you up. Let's get straight to what we came here to talk about. Did you bring your self evaluation form? No. No. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Why don't you tell me your decision-making process and not bringing the self-evaluation form? I forgot it. You forgot it. Okay, you know what? Always prepared. Scout's motto. I have an extra one right here. Why don't you take that? There we go. All right. So, um, let's, how about we go to the first question? Here we go. Number one. Um, what do you like best about your job? Um, my desk. Your desk, okay, great. Um, is there maybe something else that you're good at? Uh, something that actually has to do with your job? Um, my computer speakers. Your computer speakers, okay, you know what? I have an idea. Let's go to the next, let's go to the next question. What do you feel like your strengths are? Um, accounts. Account, accounts, yeah. Okay, you know what, that's, that's great. Um, that, that's your job. Um, maybe a skill within your job that you feel like is a strength of yours? Uh, is reading in the bathroom multitasking? Uh, you, you know what? Great, perfect, multitasking. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Multitasking, awesome, okay, perfect. And uh, how about any specific accomplishments that you've had in your job? Got my stapler filled. S your stapler filled, okay, you know what? That shows that you're a team player, I like it. Team player. And it also shows that you are innovative. Innovative, great. Okay, so um, next question. What would you like to learn? I come in at nine, I leave at five. I, I just wanna do my job. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's fine. I, I think you're happy. I'm gonna put down here for HR that you're happy. You love being here. Okay, who wouldn't? <laughs> and um, just, one more thing just for myself to know, is there anything that you need from me? You know, any, anything as from your shepherd? I need some more money. More money. Okay, you know what? I actually am gonna put that down. Um, maybe we can give you some more responsibilities to get you some kind of promotion. No, no, I, I just need the money. Oh, just the money. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let HR handle that and um, they'll be contacting you about something 
to do with that, okay? Great, so here you go. The assessment is all done. This is for you. Go ahead and hold on to that. And uh, I just wanna let you know that uh, I'm gonna give you the same positive feedback that I give everybody. Um, this was great. I just love that we have a great friendship. I love that you work here. Um, anything you need, you can call me or text me or email me or page me, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, any of those social media platforms are great. Hey, listen, you know what? I'm actually done too. Do you want to grab a cup of coffee? No, no, no. You I'm sure? Good. No. Uh, how about Cuban food? Do you like Cuban food? No, Chinese food? I'm... I love Chinese food. There's a great place yeah, that I know just I, down I, the road. I got to go to the dentist. They have, how about some Mexican food? Cleaning. I know Chipotle gives you a run for its money, but let me tell you, man, I know this other place that is spectacular. No, no. no you I, sure? Yeah, I got to go. Okay, you I know what? Go. How about another time? I'll take a rain check on that. Hey, how funny your dentist appointment? Man, you know what? I think that went awesome. I feel like we really connected and that's easily gonna be my highlight of the year. <sighs> Would I rather be feared or loved? You know, I think that's easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Yes, this is my first review. I've been uh, able to set the appointment with Amy about two months ago. Uh, we've been meeting on and off uh, over uh, the past year. And um, as I prayed this through, the Lord put a verse on my heart. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm pretty nervous, but he's been good with meeting up with me throughout the year. So I'm hoping there won't be any surprises. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Please have a seat. Thank you. Good. Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. So, so did you see what I did there? I mean, you noticed, didn't you? There's no desk in between us. That was intentional. I don't think it made a difference at all sitting on the same side of the desk. So listen, I want to uh, just go ahead and welcome you. This is gonna be um, our time to get together and talk about your staff evaluation. So as I was thinking and praying this through, I came up uh, with a verse that the Lord put on my heart and it's from Colossians and it's uh, 3.23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. And so just to get started, I really think that's important as we go forward because this is your time. This is a time when I want you to feel uh, the opportunity to open up, talk about as we go through this. It's not me just talking to you. It's both of us communicating together, okay? Okay, that sounds great, thanks. Okay, great. I just wanna make sure that we're trying to be as comfortable as we go forward. So you sweeten it up a little bit. You look for the things that they're doing positive, knowing that you're gonna to have to have some constructive criticism, which is gonna be perceived negative. So let's get started. We're gonna talk about, as you see on your form, there's different areas, and we're gonna start with the main section, accountability. And what it says here, it works independently, takes initiative, and uh, I noticed that you gave yourself a three, meets expectations. But actually, I felt you're doing better than that. So I marked it with a two, and um, that kind of gave me an idea of just, I could just move right into the next section, because I felt, man, you're really exceeding any expectations I have on you, and it goes to the workload. I think you do really good with your project works and uh, your management there, uh, taking the lead, but not you know, doing it so much to where you're not keeping uh, me up to date on what's going on. Thank you, that's very encouraging to hear you say that. Great, absolutely. It was really good that he didn't just criticize, but he gave me examples of things I was doing well, because then that helps me to do even better. I think you should lead off with the positive because we all like to hear that we're doing something good. So let's look at the next point, and that would be meeting deadlines. Um, I marked it a four, needs improvement. What are your thoughts? Um, I actually marked it three, so I'd be interested to see why you marked that one a four. Okay. What I felt was that there's been times when you missed opportunities to update your calendar, and when you did that, it made you miss the deadlines. So, you know, how do you think we might work on that particular area? Um, I guess before I leave each day, I could uh, make sure that I've updated the calendar for okay. the next day. Okay, great, great, thank you. It was a great example of constructive criticism. It didn't leave me feeling bad, but I just now know what I can improve on. Next, I want to talk about the work methods. I marked this as a four because I'm seeing grammar issues and really not something that I think you would be proud of if you were to see it. Any ideas on how you might improve that? I think with that one, I should probably get someone to look over that before I submit it and they would catch any errors that I've made. I think that would, yeah, it, 
of course, that would be something that would help you so you feel more confident when you turn it in. I think that's a great plan. I mean, oh my gosh, let's be honest. Spell check? I mean, why are not we going to involve all these other people when she can simply use spell check? But if that's how she wants to go about it, then we'll start there. I know what spell check is. I'm just trying to be an includer. That's one of my strengths. Um, so how do you think your performance has been overall? Overall, I think I've met the expectations on my job description. I think in some areas I've also gone above and beyond by taking on more responsibility. I agree with you. I think you've been doing really good. Are there any areas that you might feel that you could even do better? I think, as you suggested earlier, I can improve my time management and keeping deadlines. Okay, great, great, great. Well, what can I do to help you so that you can feel better about your overall performance? I was pretty nervous when he asked that question, but at the beginning of the meeting he had said he wanted me to be open so I knew I could be honest. Um, the only thing I can think is it would be uh, helpful for me if I could get um, feedback quicker from you. Okay, great. I will work on that myself. I appreciate when there's honesty and the transparency is there and then we just work it through because it can't be all about her and it can't be all about me. We're supposed to be a team. I think that sums it up. Um, we'll make an appointment in 30 days to get back together uh, to go over the goals that we've set. And if anything comes up, you have any questions on these goals or anything, please don't hesitate to get with me. Okay? Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Sure. What? That was awesome! You guys win that! Round of applause! High fives! Yes! Yes! That was great! You guys, by far, by far the best all day. It was great. There's a couple tears coming up, but you know what? They're all well-deserved. They're all well, well-deserved. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. This goes on all day. All day. It went really well. It was the best appraisal I've ever had. It was great to talk about things I needed to improve, but in a really positive way. Felt like we were really on the same team.